So today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox and test out the DeWalt Compact Brushless XR Reciprocating Saw. Now this thing is small, it's, uh, it looks extremely cool, and we're going to see on how much power that it actually has compared to... Uh, and in a future video, we're going to compare it to a regular size reciprocating saw. We're going to test out a couple of batteries, a 1.5, a 2 amp hour, and a 6 amp hour flex. And so, we're going to test this out on a 2x4, and we're going to test this out on a 4x4 with different blades. So, let's just uh, unbox this and see uh, what this looks like. This is a tool only item. So, of course, you get instructions and I'm pretty sure the warranty. Put that in the instruction bag. And yes, my instruction bag is heavy. There we go. The box is empty. It's a tool only. And there we go. That, that looks cool. Oh, that, that looks awesome. It, it's actually quite heavy for what it is. And so this thing is uh this thing is awesome. If it, it uh I will admit this this feels really really good in the hand it seriously does i take the front sticker off there we go all right so this is a forward position blade so that is the un the unlock so you could put this in like this and then that's like that and then it, you could put it in upside down, of course, like that. And for this, you could actually put it in like that. And of course, the last position is the opposite of that, which is like that. That's actually a unique feature to have, being instead of like doing this, you could just swipe it left or swipe it right, depending on the position of the blade. That's actually a good decision that DeWalt did to make that happen. But the, the, the only downfall of that is, is that, as you can see, with uh, exactly what we're not used to, this is offset. This is no longer in the middle. Which, that's not really a downfall. It's just uh, something you have to, you'll have to get accustomed to. You're used to the blade just being uh, dead in dead center, but... But that's a, a little price you pay to be able to have a four-positioned uh, recip saw. So let's put a battery in really quick. Let's see what it feels and sounds like. Does this pivot? Yes, it does. That pivots, which is a good thing. Well, very good. All right, so the model number for this is DCS367, a 20 volt max system, variable speed reciprocating saw, uh, and so it is zero to uh, 2,900 strokes per minute. The stroke length is one and one eighth. One and one eighth. Well, this thing looks cool though. It seriously does. It seriously does. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test this out on some uh, two x four, then a four x four. Swap out batteries and blades and see what the power difference is when it comes to the battery you use. So we have a 1.5 amp hour battery on here, no fuel gauge, the battery is full. We are gonna do uh, two cuts with this. We're gonna time them and then go to a two amp hour battery, then six amp hour battery. Then we're gonna go to a two x four and then do the same thing. We are using a wood uh, with nails, and we are going to do a test where I'm going to drill some nails in there, uh, some screws in there, and see what happens. All right, so ready, go. That's one. Let's do another one. It's two. Now, yeah, that 1.5 amp hour battery is, it sucks. This is, like, there's a big difference between a 1.5 and two. Let's go to two, a two amp hour battery, do two cuts. All right, ready, go. Let's 
So you have a big difference between a 1.5 and a 2. The 200 power battery did not stop, but the 1.5 stops multiple times per cut. All right, ready? Go. Very good. All right, so we are going to drill in. We're going to drill in two screws. We're going to use a DeWalt Atomic brushless uh, hammer drill. It's on drill, speed two. Oh, that is quiet. That Atomic is quiet. Wow. Two and a power battery. Let's see what it does with two screws in there. All right, so ready? Go. Bingo. Now the screws are still in there. One right there, one right there. We are going to switch out blades. You know what we're going to use? We're going to try it with the Milwaukee Carbide Teeth Blade. Alright, so ready? Go. Went through that, went through that like nothing. There's still, right here, I'm not sure if you can see it. There's still the nail right, the screw right there and right there. All right, so let's go to the 6 amp hour. Now this thing it looks like a beast with the 6 amp hour. All right, ready? Go. And the snail, the screw is gone. Not bad at all. All righty. Make sure that's tight. One thing I will say about this about this hammer drill, it's it's seriously quiet. I mean like that seriously is quiet. I <laughs> wow. I mean it puts it in it puts it in like nothing either. I think one more is good. As you can see, it's loaded. Got one, two, three, four, five, six screws in there. All right, so let's go with this. We are going to use the carbide blade, a Milwaukee carbide blade, by the way. All right, so ready, go. Nope. 1.5 amp hour battery failed. 2 amp hour. Uh, has uh, two bars left. All right, so ready, go. Very good. Six amp hour, uh, still full charge. All right, so ready. Go. Very good. Now remember, I'm cutting through six screw, uh, six screws. I, I'm not sure if these are. I do not know what type of screws these are. I have no clue. I threw the box away a year ago. I completely forgot what they were. Ready, go. There you go. It is doing, uh, it is uh, uh, spiking wood at the, at the edges. I just got back from Home Depot. I got more propane for my uh, for my heater, I got some. I got a one a one inch by eighteen inch uh, black steel pipe, and I got a Milwaukee torch carbide uh, teeth uh, blade uh, to be, cut this pipe. And I wanted a brand new one to see what this can do. Ready, go. There we go, that's one. 
You know what, we're gonna see if the two amp hour can do that. No, it cannot. No, it cannot. That two amp hour battery just isn't powerful enough. Go back to the six flex. There we go, let's do one more. All right, ready? There we go. It cut it. And the two amp hour battery is not powerful enough to cut that. All right, so this thing performed exceptionally well. You know, it's a, it's a very compact tool. You know, if you compare it to the size of the Ryobi, it is, it is at least like four to five inches shorter. And so the Ryobi is an extremely powerful uh, recip saw, but you know, the, the size is the same as the regular recip saws for every single other brand. But, this, uh, but this DeWalt compact saw has the same power. I think we're gonna do versus videos in the future of against other brands uh, with the regular size recip saw with the brushless uh, uh, feature. And but, but this one is an extremely good uh, compact size reciprocating saw that accepts the flex battery. Now this, uh, uh, it is a brushless motor. This, this thing is awesome. This thing is awesome. I, uh, I knew it would cut metal, obviously because it's a recip saw, but the, yeah, just uh, for there is a major difference between a 1.5 and a 2 amp hour to a 2 amp hour battery, and then a major difference with the 6 amp hour battery flex. But yeah, but like I said, this is model number DCS367. All right, I did not get this as a kit. The kit uh, that comes with a battery and charger and a bag, and of course the recip saw, that's $234. I got this as tool only online at the Home Depot website, which is $140. So uh, I, I don't really need the batteries. I believe it comes with a two amp hour battery uh, and a, a, a standard charger and a bag. You know, I'm pretty sure the bag to a lot of people would majorly help, but I, I don't need the bag. So yeah, but uh, I got this for $140. And I'm glad I did. We are going to be testing the crap out of this in the future. What you saw today was just a little demonstration of what it can do. We're going to put this through hardcore tests. And we're going to do versus videos with hardcore tests against other brands. Like uh, Makita, Milwaukee, Rigid, uh, Ryobi. So please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell button to be notified of my future videos. And yes, uh, I am having a raffle right now. Uh, the winner will be announced on the 19th, I believe it is. And then we're going to have another raffle for the Christmas. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.